If any of you lads want to jump on the crypto world, market's been down, but it's on its way back up again. Matic is a good one to buy. I don't have the mental capacity. I don't have the capacity. I don't have the mental capacity to deal with crypto. I just, I ain't got it in me. I do the same. I need to learn the lyrics of that because I keep singing it in my head. Oh, they are. Get drunk, wake up, I'm wasted still. Alright folks, welcome back to episode number two of the, the Ask TMC. Hashtag Ask TMC. We have a question today on fat burners. Hi TM, I'm going to join you on the Santa Shred. Welcome, let's get shredded for Santa together. So when he comes down our chimney, he'll go, oh my, actually no, the, come December 25th, I'm not going to be shredded at all. The whole point of the Santa Shred is to get into a condition whereby I can enjoy some butter, some luxury butter mince pies. I was wondering if it's worth me taking any fat burners. What are your thoughts on them? Do they work? And do you have any personal favourites? Also, what are your thoughts on this? He's put a link in. I hope it's not anything pornographic. What's good, people? Simeon Panda here. Ah, oh, it's my favourite natural bodybuilder, Simeon Panda. So why am I in my pajamas? You need to work on your pajama game, Simeon. If you give my boy David Gandhi a call, he's got a new ranger. He'll sort you out. So I've been taking night shred for about 30 minutes before I sleep. Bear with me for two seconds. I'm not sitting through four minutes of a video where I don't know what this product is. You know Sup's night shred, burn fat while you sleep. <laughs> to be fair, I do know quite a few compounds that do burn fat while you sleep, but they're illegal. And it actually starts working before your head hits the sheets. Um, one of the main ingredients is melatonin, which is proven to help prepare your body for sleep. Melatonin is actually banned in the UK, so I don't know if you could get this product over here. You probably have to get it in, imported somehow. I've got no doubt that this is down to Night Shred's Nighttime Recovery Complex, which is a combination of GABA, chamomile, passion flower, and valerian root. So what is this? Is a what is this a sleep product? This is this is the issue that we face within the fitness industry and the claims being made by supplement companies is that you can use something that's like a catalyst of. So we know from research that if you are in a, in a deficit and those that have a poor sleep quality and duration compared to those that have a good sleep quality and longer duration in the 8, 10, 12, however long the study was, you're going to see better results of fat loss for the people that had more sleep. So you, you can almost, from a marketing perspective, market a sleep product as a fat loss product. But you can, you know, there's no direct relation to the particular ingredients that are mentioned here on actual fat loss. Although your eyes are closed, thermogenesis is still taking place and your metabolism is still running. And that is from the help of the CLA and the L-carnitine that helps to burn fat while you're sleeping. Oh, it's the metabolism. They just prey on the, the gen pop who believe that this metabolism word that we hear all the time, and me and Philip were speaking about this at Body Scan, and this kind of misconception with metabolism in the sense that so many people believe that the scale is massive. Like you've got on one hand, people with slow metabolisms, yeah, and they've been dealt a horrible card when in essence, yes, genetically there may be a slightly slower metabolism, but when you start to break down what it is that these individuals, or, or why these individuals can't lose weight, and clients, for example, when I've got a client that comes to me and says, hi Tom, I've got a very slow metabolism. I'm like, right, let's track your food for five days. Okay, brilliant. We've actually found out due to their weight that the food they're eating, they're just around maintenance, if not in a surplus, right? So that's one of the, the big reasons why you aren't losing weight. The second reason, how many steps are you doing? How active are you? Uh, we'll track five days, they've got an office job, they're doing two or 3,000 steps. It's like, well, there's the issue, mate. It's not the fact that it's anything to do with your metabolism, it's the fact that you're not moving a lot and you're eating quite a lot of food. Now, I'm sure you guys are aware of the name Night Shred and you wanna know, does it live up to its name? Does it burn fat while you're sleeping? Well, that comes from the CLA and the L-carnitine. Oh God, CLA. That's still, that even still being promoted. It is a God awful garbage supplement that has no effect on fat loss for, uh, you know, you look at that, the human trials, and this is again, what supplement companies are so good at is that they'll cherry pick certain studies to make the product look amazing. But then you look at the small print and it's done on animals. L-carnitine, L-carnitine has some scope. We utilize that on prep, injectable form, but I bet your bottom dollar that the milligram night, shred that the milligram of l-carnitine used in this particular product is nowhere near that of what it should be to elicit any 
So we've got PM fat burning complex, so it's a proprietary blend. It's not even individual ingredients. Grains of Paradise, L-carnitine, CLA, 76 milligrams. So 76 milligrams of that is comprised, the Grains of Paradise, CLA, and L-carnitine. So no chance that any of those products having any form of effect, even if they were to do so on fat loss because they're so underdosed. And that has a huge impact on burning fat, and that is Grains of Paradise. What the fuck is this Grains of Paradise? I've never heard of Grains of Paradise in my life. Here we go, Examine, a fantastic website. If you ever come into contact with a particular product and you are unsure of the ingredients in them and their claims on what it is they're doing, fat loss in this case, go on Examine or PubMed or Google Scholars and you can get a better breakdown. But here we have Aphromomum melegea appears to have some anti-diabetic and anti-obese mechanisms, although neither are remarkable. The one human study conducted, Again, like one human study. And this is, again, the issue. Within that study, it may be totally uncontrolled. We don't know what's going on, but there may have been some form of fat loss on a particular person. And that's enough for a product. Uh, so that's enough for a supplement company to then market the product as, oh my God, it's amazing, it causes loads of fat loss. Grains of Paradise may be promising for a spice to add to a diet in hopes of body recomposition and particularly for men, but there is overall a lack of evidence to support its usage as a supplement and higher oral doses may still have some toxicity. So very little evidence and potentially toxic. Sorry, I feel like we got sidetracked there, but that's just a, quite a nice example of a brand new product I've never heard of. We are now in the day and age whereby we can use our technology to look at the potential claims being made by these supplement companies and we found out, well, they're relatively weak. So to answer your question, mate, what are fat burners? And we used to sell them. I used to sell them in GNC all the time. We used to try and get that commission. People used to come in and say, right, right, mate, I'm looking to, looking to bulk up a bit, but I'm going to get shredded, shredded at the same time. I used to say, you've come to the right person. And I'd be like, come over here, look, I've got this product here, right? Are you listening? It's grenade fat burner. Like, you take this, it'll get you shredded, but you take serious mass as well, so you get bigger. And they used to go, you fucking genius. But those particular fat burners that we talk of, the ones you get over the counter, are, are just essentially comprised of stimulants. And the knock-on effect, and we talk about the kind of catalyst effect as well. Yes, if you are incorporating stimulants into some form of workout routine in your general day-to-day -day life, if you are entering a deficit, then your neat will increase, you become a little bit more jittery. The the ease of cardio may, the, the, the kind of uh, perceived exertion of cardio may be a little bit less because you have those stimulants on board. So in turn, you're burning slightly more calories in your cardio. But the, the actual ingredients within those fat loss pills and products that you're taking are going to have no direct effect on actual fat within the body. Two seconds, uh, my laptop's about to run out of battery. My apologies. What we can also look at underneath that kind of umbrella of fat loss with regard to supplements is if it affects your appetite. So you could potentially look at getting a fat burner if it has ingredients like a fiber product or a 5-HTP. We used to, when I used to work for DeNova, we had a product called Suppress that was unbelievable. It was fantastic. You used to take that with a black coffee, the mixture of 5-HTP and glucomannan, I think it was in there. It, it, it kept me going until like one, two in the afternoon. I think you asked, do I have any personal favorites? There would be, I'm, we're talking about naturals here. I'm gonna, kind of steer clear from, from the dark corner. And there will be one product that I would recommend, which will be your Himbine. I think it's very strong. It's a it's a particular supplement that I got really into and did a couple of videos on the TM Cycles member site. Broke it down quite in depth. We talked about doses. We talked about the scientific kind of research behind it as well. So the link below to the vault, which uh, I know quite a few of you signed up to, which is fantastic. I really do appreciate it. I go through quite in detail uh, the the kind of mechanisms as to why I feel Yihimbine is a very, very good, strong product to have if you are entering some form of dieting phase. To wrap up and answer the question, would you recommend a fat burner? I wouldn't, no. What you can do is look to kind of utilize specific ingredients within fat burners. We talked about Yihimbine and its, uh, its benefits basic caffeine. If you're looking for that stimulated response, then there's nothing wrong with a black coffee at all. You don't want to get into a position whereby you are overdosing on so much caffeine, especially if you're taking a fat burner, a black coffee in the morning, you're going to go and train, taking a pre-workout. You want to start to look at the effects, the knock-on effects that's having with sleep. And we talked about the importance of sleep when in, in, in dieting phases. So I would look at, if, if you were to ask me what I would choose as a natural that's looking to kind of get an additional one or two percent in their fat loss phase, wake up some potentially some form of L-carnitine, even though in order to, to get, not for it to work, but in order to, to get the most of out of L-carnitine, we're gonna have to look to, to spike insulin. Therefore, if you're using something like your Himbine, then it's gonna potentially negate the effects of your Himbine. So I would just run purely on a black coffee and your Himbine, that will have to be taken in a fasted state. So this is a whole different video about fasted versus fed state. The reason as to why we would potentially use fasted cardio is if you are looking to utilize certain products like your him by example. But if I were to pull a, a couple of ingredients from a kind of stimulatory point of view, 
black coffee, wake up black coffee, you him by and go and do your fasted cardio, try and leave like a, an hour or two window after that as well. In terms of appetite suppression, look at 5-HTP. There's a lot of studies on 5-HTP and some form of fiber supplement, you know, the the glucomannan in the suppress helped to expand within the stomach. And like I said, that helped me go from, you know, the morning time until about one or two in the afternoon. Hope that's answered your question, mate. And my thoughts on Night Shred, not bad product if you're looking at sleep, probably not gonna get it over here because of the melatonin, but from a, 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 a sleep slash fatigue slash cortisol management, not bad. From a, a fat loss kind of angle, then no. If you're watching this video, Simeon, I'm sorry, mate, but I've just got to tell the truth. I just have to, you know, I've been, get, God said cycles. I'm going to put you on this planet to fucking tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Okay, I shall see you in the next episode. I've got shoulders now. I never, these videos aren't planned. They're just like straight off the rip. So if you feel like I've, I've forgotten anything or missed anything out, or you've got any questions about fat loss or fat burners, then hit them in the comment section below. See you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Thank you, good night. Much love.